Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. Thanks for coming back to the channel today for this 4K review. Today we're taking a look at a new-ish release uh, from Warner Brothers. This was also released on HBO Max. It was one of their movies that went to theaters and HBO Max at the same time here during the pandemic. And that is the new Mortal Kombat movie on 4K. So we're gonna dive in here, talk about the visuals, the audio, packaging and special features, and whether or not this one is worth picking up or if maybe you could just stick with the Blu-ray. So diving right into the visuals, Mortal Kombat is just a 2K digital intermediate according to IMDb. So this is a 2K to 4K upscale. Now it was shown on HBO Max in 4K, but again, that was likely an upscale. So overall, when you look at like the quality, the detail, the differences between the 4K and Blu-ray, I mean, there's really not much here. The Blu-ray and 4K discs from just a quality detail resolution standpoint look almost identical. I really couldn't tell much of a difference. There's a few minor moments here where, yeah, that detail might be slightly enhanced, or yeah, that's a little bit better. But overall, you're looking at a 2K upscale. The Blu-ray is already very, very solid. Although I will say, both the Blu-ray and the 4K discs on this release, I think, looked better than the HBO Max stream, which... I continue to be kind of underwhelmed by HBO Max stream quality. So if you're looking for the best experience, it's gonna be on physical disc. That shouldn't surprise you anyway. But if you're just looking for like a, a really sharp, stunning 4K digital image here, you're not really getting it. The Blu-ray and 4K disc are identical in terms of that. And without the 4K digital intermediate, you're not going to really see a ton of moments that stand out to you as being better on 4K. Now, obviously the 4K also adds HDR, but again, I'm not super impressed by that. It does make things look a little bit better. Contrast is a little bit better. Maybe colors are a little bit brighter, but it's one of these modern movies shot on digital. They're very colorful anyway. You know, it's not just a Mortal Kombat issue. When I look at like Marvel movies uh, or, you know, anything from like DC that's coming out, if it doesn't have a 4K DI, uh, even some Disney movies that have been upscaled to 4K, you really don't see a huge difference. And I think that's where many people who are sort of on the fringe of this community and go, I'm not upgrading to 4K because I never see a difference between Blu-ray and 4K. Well, if you were looking at a disc like this, like Mortal Kombat, or you were looking at a disc like Avengers Endgame or something, you probably wouldn't, unless you were like reviewing these discs for you know many, many years and really tuning up your TV and really, really paying attention to those minute details, you're probably not gonna see much of a difference in these kind of regular old digitally shot 2k upscaled movies you're just not going to notice and the average consumer is probably not going to be able to pass the eye test as to the 4k looking any better in the blu-ray that's always been my kind of issue and that's why i try to promote older movies and, and the benefits of 4k so people understand that and they don't get shut down by the fact that this 4k disc looks almost identical to the blu-ray so why would you ever upgrade the hdr does add a little bit it does have better black levels it has better contrast but again the average consumer out there the average person watching on their 4k tv is probably not going to notice these things if you're a home theater enthusiast of course you always want the highest quality disc release 4K will give you that, but for the average person, I'm thinking that they could be okay with the Blu-ray for this release, at least visually. And that's the visuals, but unfortunately, audio is actually kind of the same. Um, this is a good thing, but Dolby Atmos audio is offered on both the Blu-ray and 4K disc of Mortal Kombat. So whether or not you go to 4K, if you're an audiophile who's just looking for the best audio experience, you could stick with the Blu-ray and still get your Dolby Atmos. So paying extra for the 4K disc here isn't giving you anything extra from an audio perspective. That being said, the thing I love about modern movies is how great the audio tracks are. And this is an awesome Dolby Atmos soundtrack. I mean, it really pops. Bass is nice and heavy. It has a lot of great surround effects. It makes full use of what Dolby Atmos should be used for in a way that honestly some older movies just don't take advantage of because they don't have the right sound elements in the mix and you have to go back into a full restoration. It's just not the same as some of these modern movies. So I would give a movie like Mortal Kombat the edge in Dolby Atmos over a lot of older stuff but if you're just thinking about should I buy the blu-ray and save a few bucks or go to the 4k there is no difference here either way you're getting the same audio experience which is why these 4k discs that are, are, are more modern for me are sometimes a bummer 
great Atmos, but I can't necessarily say you need to grab the 4K disc because the audio is exactly the same no matter which disc you buy. Now the packaging here on the 4K is pretty standard stuff. It's like the movie poster art. Um, on the inside you do get a digital copy, which I've already pulled out in a 4K and a Blu-ray disc, both of which are very, very plain. So not a whole lot to talk about with packaging. And then all the special features are on the Blu-ray. Some of them include deleted scenes, from game to screen, the making of Mortal Kombat. There's 11 different featurettes on the characters. There's choreography breakdowns. There's seven different uh, anatomy of a scene breakdowns and there are some Easter eggs that they highlight in the special features throughout the movie but all on the blu-ray disc so again no real benefit to moving to 4k here uh, from a special features and packaging standpoint so overall I do think that uh, while Mortal Kombat is a nice looking 4k disc it's also a very nice looking blu-ray if you're on a budget you certainly shouldn't feel the need to spend the extra five six seven dollars on a 4K disc of Mortal Kombat. I don't really think that the average person is going to see the benefit visually. It's very, very slight. It's very, very minimal difference. And you're still getting Atmos audio either way, which is a nice thing Warner Brothers does. Give them credit for that because it, you know, it still allows people who want to buy Blu-ray to continue to do that and get great audio. But no special features in the 4K, nothing special in the 4K disc really, except for a little bit of added HDR uh, color grading, which enhances the picture a little bit. And you're probably better off saving your five, six, seven dollars and just buying the Blu-ray. Now, as always, if you want the best experience and you're someone like me, I'd buy the 4K disc. You know, you, you never want to go backwards if you've invested all your money into 4K. Buy the 4K disc, get the HDR experience, you know, enjoy that. But for those on a budget, for those who are just looking to build their collection and maybe save a few dollars, um, you're really not missing much here if you stick with the 1080p Blu-ray disc. So if you're interested, I'll leave both versions, 4K and Blu-ray, down in the description where you can pick those up. That helps support my channel, so I appreciate anyone who uses those to order. Make sure you follow me on social media, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. All the links are down in the description, and make sure you subscribe and like this video so others will see it and we spread the word about physical media. I'm on my goal to hit 100,000 subscribers, so if you've been watching my videos, it takes one click and I really appreciate it, so hit that button and help us hit that goal. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you to Warner Brothers for sending this out to me for review. I appreciate their continued support of the channel and I hope you guys all have a safe and healthy day today and I will talk to you soon.